Lord Roach out the Lord Roach the laser centre. From Korea. Kim Tae Hun, one of the main contenders, the defending champion from last year. It's been an arduous season for him. He's done well to find himself back involved in this one. Three time world champion, six times Grand Prix gold. Can he add a bronze medal here? $5,000 for this Josie, one, the big prizes, the Army Hardy Welcome to Army Hardy from Iran. And a big fighter, the man from Iran, Armin Hadapur, from the Islamic Republic of Iran. Youth Olympic champion. Champion as well, top fighter. They've shared the ring before. Kim Tae Hun came out on top. Who's it going to be in this one? Fighters are ready. Armin Hadipur against Kim Tae Hun, conducted over five times two minute rounds. As you can see, the green, the taller of the two. Same age. The green, of course, ranked number one on the way into this one, the defending champ. Can he defend his pride in this one? Of course it is the best of five, much like a tennis set, but who can serve up a good one in this, looking for a few shots to the body, say it the way there, had a put, trying to drag it down the protector. A little flick to the face as well there from the arena, leaves a space though, Kim Tae Hun fills it with his feet. Both men working in the clinch, looking for opportunities to strike. Kim Tae with that back leg, trying to batter at home. The man from Iran doing well in the clinch, always good to see the flexibility that he brings. Was just about to throw it there. Tarek Ben Radi intervenes. Halfway through the first back leg, just blocked well there by the Korean. And of course, they know they've got to fight for five rounds, so saving it up a little bit here. Understandable. There's the headshot just attempted there by the Iranian, whistling past the face of Kim Tae Hunt. Wrestling there, of course, not allowed. Cam Jom given. That is, of course, an addition to your opponent. You break the rules, you pay the price. So who's going to get the money paid into their account at the end of this one? Ten to go in the first. A marginal lead. Kim Tae Han with the body shot. Armin Hadapur trying to batter his way back into it. Cam Jom given to the Iranian. He duly nods. And they'll be going back to the coaching corner. I think Amjohn could have went and made a big difference on the score, but as it is, 3 2. And retreating to their respective coaches in this one. An Hung Yub, the Korean coach. Syed Khalifi, the man from Iran. But at the moment, it's the Korean with that marginal lead. And up after this one, Maria Stetic of Croatia. 
will go against Iarum in the female under 57 bronze medal matchup. The bronze medal final, of course, will be conducted between the host nations Julie Jun and Great Britain's Jade Jones. There's still all to fight for, all to play for in this one. Sunday afternoon here. On a pretty pleasant morning in Wuxi. Cold but bright. And who can bring the heat in this one? Both men into round number two here. One on the board in favour of Kim Tehan. Poor working, as he always does under that front leg there. Got close with a headshot. Most men working away here. Front leg just makes enough connection there for Hadipur. Flicks it to the face. Goes with a back kick round the corner of the Korean. Of course, that's a four point shot. You turn your back in your opponent, obviously, it's more dangerous, more difficult, so you get a little bonus point for doing that. Halfway through the second round, trying again. Same technique. Of course, the physical exertion required to throw that shot at the end of a long season. And indeed a long week, they've fought on consecutive days. But Tad, it's not an issue here. The adrenaline flowing, the feet flying, back kick there from Hadapur. Good response from both men, really going for it. Kim Tehan focusing. Half a minute left in the second round. There's the back kick round the corner this time from Kim Tehan. He'll get the double points for that one. As I said, the back kick worth four. So that puts him in the lead. Two plus two. Yep. Even I can manage that one. One of a difference. A bit of a hip toss there from Armin Hadapur. There's a little shake of the head as if to say, who me? Had a poor battling, trying to get to the headshot there. Well blocked from Kim Tae Hunt. Back leg again, blasting home from the Korean. As we go towards the end of the second. Couple points of a difference. The Iranian falls, puts the hands down. So anything, anytime there's anything but your foot on the ground, it's a gam jom, a deduction. And that will see Kim Tae Hun take a 2-0 lead here. So of course, the best of five. And at the moment, it's Kim Tae Hun dominating with the back kicks, deserving of it. But Armin Hadapur. Still got time to come back into this Iranian. He's been in close quarters with the Korean on every occasion. Can the man from Iran pull himself back into this one? Kim Tae-hun. Anything ever closer to this bronze medal match? And indeed possible victory. Concentration from the Korean, some intensity from the Iranian, that's what's required. Who can deliver? Nice little shot to the body from Kim Tae Hun, he's been accurate from the start here. Uh, 
Padapur working away though. Won't be cowed in this one, refusing to yield. Flick to the face from Kim Tae Hunt. Oh, so close. The cash prize and the ranking points look to be heading back to Seoul, but Amanadapur thinks no. Wants to take them back to Tehran. He's going to take the Gam John for that. No intent to kick behind that pushing leg. And that is why we're going to see the video replay card. Tired Caliphate playing the card for the Iranians. We always have a strong grounds and a debate. A chance for a rest as well there. You can see the exertion from the Iranian. Well, if you... One, two, three... Well, it's supposed to be three seconds of holding up the leg without any attempt to kick. I wonder if that was the case in that one. And it is at a pivotal stage. It was tied up at 2 all. See what the referees' union think of this one. Well, he's had a tough old season, Kim Tae Hunt. Started off fantastically well. Golds early in the Grand Prix calendar. Beginning just to tire. That will give him some energy, though. The card is gone for the Iranians. Good times for the Koreans, one of a difference. The kick up to the face got close. Halfway through the third. Um, and had a poor working away. Well. Good body shot there from the Iranian. Kim Tae Hunt. Well, showing his perseverance, his desire to keep it going. A bar is the call from the coach, was use your front leg, almost worked. Goes with the back leg instead, leaves a space. Amin Hadapur finds it, gives the Iranian a lead here. Goes again with the headshot, good work from Amin Hadapur. It's a great headshot though from Kim Tae Hun. Smashes it home, gives Amin Hadapur a foot sandwich there. Less than tasty at this stage, but it's a tasty battle, no question. Both fighters going at it here. Two rounds to zero in favour of the Korean. Eight all. Nice there from Armin Hadapur. He's found his kicking form. Gets a great headshot by way of response. Anything you can do, Armin can do better. And Armin Hadapur means business in this one. 15-8. Seth the bronze medal was getting away from him. He's fought back into it fantastically. Those fighters eyeing the clock. Giving each other a little bow on the way out. But who's going to bow out in terms of the bronze medal contest? Amin Hadapur, well he's refusing to yield. Excellent stuff from the Iranian. Very much in contention here. They look to be down and out. Still hanging on in there. And that's why, what a headshot. Kim Tae Hun cracks at home. That's excellent flexibility, technique. Evenly matched up there by the Iranian. Here we go, crucial stages of this competition. Men's under 58 kilogram bronze medal matchup. It's the second of eight bronze medal matchups, and of course, eight finals to come as well. Plenty of action for you to enjoy.
on the kick from Kim Tehan. Well blocked from Armin Hadapur. Working away is the Iranian. Look to be down and out. Draws himself back into this. Good push kick to the body. As we push towards the last minute of this fourth round. You get the feeling that the pendulum is swinging towards the Iranian. Kim Tehan's going to have to try and arrest that if he can. A real war of attrition. Both fighters digging deep. That kick around the corner. Kim Tehan. The timing of Kim Tehan. Usually impeccable. Because Armin had the poor response. Great punch there from the Iranian. I think that the corner judges have agreed with that. Yeah, just checking. They all agreed. Power punch deserved. Chance to tie up at two all. Good flick up to the face there from both fighters. Showing the intensity now, Kim Tae Hunt. Down the stretch, last 10 seconds. Looking for something on the board. Back leg just missing. Trying again. Good work from Hanapur. Didn't give away the game jump. Controlled the mat. Match management so important. Can he make it to all and tie it up? You bet he can. Armin Hadapur. Looked to be in big, big trouble. It's two rounds down. He's brought it back to two all here. Iranian showing his desire. And of course, we're focusing on the bronze medal matchups, but just to give you a little foretaste of the finals. And the women's under 49s will have Minaha. Of Korea against Panapak Wompatanake of Thailand. The men's 58s, Yu Shai Liang against Jang Chun of Korea. Women's 57s, Jay Jones of Great Britain against Julie Jun. Then we have the men's 68s, Bradley Sinden, the victor over Ide Hoon. He goes against Zhao Shui, the Chinese Olympic champion. Followed by Lauren Williams against Noor Tatar Askari. So three British matchups back to back. Then it's a repeat of the men's final. Maxim Hamsov against Juan Nam Goon in the 80s. Bianca Walton against Madeleine Gorman Short. The USA and the equivalent heavyweights. And then Kyodon and Sajid Mardani again repeating last year's heavyweight final. Will be the final final of this final day. But here in the bronze medal final, it's all to fight for. Final round. Who's going to take it to all as the tied score? Armin Hadapur and Kim Tae Hunt. The Korean in blue. The Iranian, of course, with the bronze. Or going for the bronze. A flick up to the face there from both men. Looking for that early score on the board. We see a couple of decent punches from the Iranian. Here's the shorter, which makes it can see the target coming. <laughs> Halfway through the fifth. This is the decider. A decisive headshot. Has it come yet? The power punch, not really. $5,000 at stake here in the fifth round. Kim Tae Hunt, one of the main <laughs> contenders for the Olympic <laughs> berth in Tokyo. Likewise, Amin Hadapur, rank number three. Headshot attempted by both. Gamjong given for holding the leg in the inside there. 
Armin just explaining that. Good refereeing. Armin, Armin, a good contest so far. Who can find a bit of magic? Something different <laughs> to separate things. Back leg turning kick. Blast home there from Hadapur. Back kick round the corner from the Iranian. Oh, the headshot was the call from the Iranian coach. Had a chance there. Back oh, leg from Kim oh, Han oh, right oh, on the whistle oh, there. Oh, Left the space. Oh, punch lands oh, as another oh, good oh, punch oh, from the Iranian. Oh, Excellent oh, stuff. Oh, He's given himself oh, a marginal lead here. The fine margins. Oh, Doesn't oh, want to give away oh, any gam oh, jobs. Oh, the referee oh, keeping a close eye on proceedings, as are we. 15 to go in the fifth. The decider, oh, Amin Hadapur was two yeah, rounds down no, against no, the world no, champion, no, the Iranian, no, digging no, it out here. No, as the one point no, lead, no, this for the bronze medal, no, good push no, from the man no, from Iran. No, Lands no, again, no, and that's no, the no, score. No, it's going to make the biggest difference in the battle no, for bronze. No, and no, Armin no, Hadapur no, finds no, no, a way through. No, Talk no, about fighting spirit and perseverance. Well, the man no, from Tehran no, no, will take no, to the podium. No, He'll take the gam, John. As the clock ticks down. As you can see, no time left for Kim Ji Hun, who fought to the finish, but Armin Hadapur, talk about perseverance. Absolutely exhausted, both of them. Kim Ji Hun couldn't have tried any harder. Armin Hadapur delivering. Excellent stuff there. Excellent bronze medal, richly deserved. Head guards in the air, embracing the coach there, Syed Caliphate. Good work from the Iranians. And a super win there. Confirmation for you, Kim Tehun. Came in strong, but finishing strongest was Amin Hadapur from Iran. Had a poor start, had a poor finish. So coming up next will be the bronze medal matchup in the under 57 kilograms, Croatia and Korea. Maria Stetic and Iarum. Happy days 